Thomas, we stood here in front of a, a very clever product, but before we get to that, you know, when we look at a turning centre, things like this, um, a, a chuck, it's developed over time, but they still look the same as they've always looked within reason. But this is the biggest change in technology for maybe 100 years, right? Um, uh, I'm happy that you say it in this way. Um, it, yes, it is actually. Um, it's a sensorized jaw which uh, can measure the clamping force during machining. And this is really new, this is unique in the market. Clamping force measurement during machining is, um, has a lot of advantages in the production process. Yes, so for me, I'm thinking of hollow parts for the aerospace industry, oil and gas potentially. Is it, would that be its biggest benefit possibly? Yeah, um, with uh, the eye jaw you can clamp with uh, really the force you need to clamp your workpiece, with exactly the right force you need to clamp the workpiece, and um, uh, rings, for example, or, or uh, tubes are perfect workpieces um, with, uh, to be clamped with the, with the eye jaw. In the, in the aerospace industry, for example, if you look at, uh, at, at, at uh, turbines for, for, the, for um, planes, they have a lot of rings, they have a lot of thin rings, and uh, these, this material, these work pieces um, are perfectly uh, made with the eye jaw. Yeah, it's good. This is the way the market's going. We've heard about Industry 4.0, IoT, and all these other terms for maybe five, six years now, but work holding's almost been left behind a little bit. So this can now communicate with the machine. The machine could communicate with the cutting tool sometimes. So it kind of clo closes the loop. Yes, yes. Yeah, we, we closed, we closed a, a data gap, uh, for example. So uh, now you can see the really, um, uh, how can I say, that the force that, that works at the workpiece or that, that's applied at the workpiece, um, uh, you can monitor and you can work with the data. You can optimize your production process, you can, you can adjust uh, the clamping force really exactly to, uh, to the pressure uh, you need. And the, the final one for me, uh, buyers of components, they will obviously want good parts, they want you know, price, price sensitive on, on a lot of components, but also I'm guessing you can, you, you can, you know, this data you can prove, you could almost print it off and give it to a customer to say this part's been held correctly. Yes, absolutely. With, uh, with the monitoring of the eye jaw, you get some kind of uh, data fingerprint. Um, it's, it's a curve uh, which is always the same for the same workpiece. And if you have um, a different um, a curve, I would say, um, then, you, then you can see during the process, during the measuring, that something had been maybe wrong or different um, uh, during the machining process. And you can identify this part and take it out and have um, uh, immediate quality control.